Yo. Paradise. Give your life to Christ. To give you paradise. Yo, I was just listening to Paradise by the Sunday Service Choir. The paying for this noisy truck to go by. Noisy vehicles annoy the stupid out of me. Because there's no reason for them to be noisy and still function. <laughs> they can totally function at a lower decibel even uh, fire trucks you ever notice that the firemen riding in the fire trucks they got on headphones to protect their ears from the sirens so that lets you know it's harmful to anybody else that they pass by. It's just one of those things that make you go, hmm, where are my headphones, Mr. Fireman? But nah, shout out to all the first responders and nurses, doctors, scientists, everybody helping everybody when we need the most help right now. But yeah, I'm just taking my stroll for a few mm, essentials, I guess. And uh, finally got finished with uh, the first track. Yes, 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 the night is young. It is going down. Coming soon soon to be released I'm looking forward to it putting it out it's uh, a lot to say about it it's actually like three years in the making I began writing it in 2018 towards the end of the year I actually recorded about 95% of it about 90% of it um last year then I scrapped it got a little discouraged uh, misled or whatnot and uh, from there it was like I don't know man I don't know if I should put it out but now I feel like the world needs not only this album but as much positive music creativity artistry literature as we can get right now because 2020 boy 2020 will make you cry so I'm just out here at the park in the grass Last time I did this, this is the third time I did this. Last time I did this, well, the first time I did this, I didn't have like a blanket or a sheet or anything like today. And I was itching. But I don't care. It's kind of relaxing, it's different. It's one of my new uh, sources of inspiration. Just chilling in the grass looking up at the clouds people watching you got the people watch in 2020 so I uh should we get some good light just thought I'd do this another uh newfound inspiration 
watch this documentary uh, on Netflix called um, about John Coltrane. The thing was called Train. And uh, it basically explained this whole life story. And, but what I sought out from it was uh, his uh, most highly critically acclaimed masterpiece work called Love Supreme. So I checked it out. And yes, 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 y'all, it is indeed a masterpiece. I've always been a Coltrane fan, but I just never knew of his discography. And uh, it was cool because Denzel was narrating as Coltrane throughout. <laughs> you know Denzel, man. He got, he, he got that anything... Uh, you know, dealing with the uh, acting, he got that down pat. Definitely the goat. And uh, but yeah, the Coltrane documentary led me to listen to Love Supreme. I listened to it like for probably like three days in a row, man, back to back, and it was dope. Like on another level, dope. So that was uh, another source I drew from, from as I was uh, gearing up to record this project, The Night is Young, which is my sixth project. I have two full albums three EPs to date um, and uh, so yeah there was Coltrane then there was some, some, some movies I've seen before that I've watched again um, new movies like The Photograph Whew. you talk about a good love story I think it should be a trilogy Issa Rae, Lakeith Stanfield, if y'all see this or if y'all read my blog post about it, it should definitely, or could definitely, no, should definitely be a trilogy. It has all the uh, right parts, enough moving parts, enough uh, questions that can be answered in two more parts. So that movie was dope. I watched it twice. I uh, saw John Wick 3 again. <laughs> After I read a couple articles about the backstory, I kind of got like not with it anymore. Like kind of just was like, man, I'm going to make this a saga. It's going to be like 20 movies deep. Like the Marvel franchise and hard to keep up with but after watching it the second time I was like I don't care I gotta keep up with it I saw the first three so it's like action on steroids especially the third one and Hallie was in it Hallie's so dope she's a goat too so it's John Wick 3 and Sicario I watched that for the second time. First time I remember watching it with my cousin Russ. Shout out to Russ. The Rush. And uh that movie just gangster like <laughs> gangster business. So there was a that um did a little skateboarding. Can't play basketball because all the rims are down. It's not permitted at the uh, gym I hoop at. 
so I end up catching like episode six, seven, and eight of the last dance. <laughs> I watched the first episode the day it aired and premiered. Um, you know, Michael Jordan's legacy story of six championships. And honestly, the first, I couldn't get into the first episode. I mean, Jordan's on my list of favorite players. But at that time, I really wasn't into the NBA or basketball like I am now. So I saw some of his games, but I didn't really get too moved by, you know, his skills until later but it was dope to watch how he was just a killer <laughs> when it come to executing and finishing strong uh, handling adversity and pressure and all of the things that come with being uh, on the pedestal entitled the greatest. And he earned everything he got, you know. Sad to hear about his dad. I really didn't know that backstory. Um, I feel sorry for Steve Kerr. <laughs> More so because I'm a Warriors fan. That's my favorite team because Steph Curry plays on that team. And he's the greatest to me. And it just was wild that uh, Jordan punched Steve in the eye at practice. Smallest man on the team at that time. But... You know, Jordan had a method to his madness that worked. <laughs> they call you crazy until they see it work. So, I'm just excited to uh, have finished the first track, Shabak. Took like 11 hours, man. The first five was all technical figuring out trying to understand how to use the new equipment make it work and uh, then it was about re-recording getting it right to a place that I could live with that was that didn't take long at all that was probably that was the least amount of time invested and then after that it was just a lot of editing and cleaning up and probably still need some stuff but it sounds decent hope y'all like it man I hope it touches you in some way anyway you know in a positive way and uh, encourage you to do something positive, something good in this wild world we live in. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share some of my inspirations that helped fuel the fire, rekindle the flame, seal the deal to start, uh, you know, working on this project, The Night is Young, my sixth studio album. And, uh, you know, just give y'all some information about myself. So, I'm out of here, man. I ain't, uh, I ain't gonna let this grass get me all itchy this time. <laughs> y'all be cool. See you in the next clip. Peace. Okay, so I just remembered the name of the Coltrane. 
documentary. I highly recommend it. It's called Chasing Train. And it's on Netflix. So, check that out. Y'all be good. Peace. Yo, one more thing. I'm going to put the link to my blog post about the movie, the photograph I mentioned, down below in the description. It's called The Photograph Movie Analysis. Uh, no, it's called The Photograph Movie Reaction and Analysis that I wrote. It's, my late, it's one of my latest blog posts, so check it out. Let me know what you think.